What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and welcome to Bass Tone Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about optical compressors for bass. Optical compression is one of the most musical sounding ones due to the nature of how it interacts with your signal. A compressor is, in a simplified way, a device that takes your signal and the loud notes get clamped down and with the makeup gain, you can raise the quiet notes so that you have a compressed signal that sounds more even and consistent. That is the broad way of using a compressor. A simple way to describe how an optical compressor works is that you can think of it as if there was a light bulb inside the compressor. And once you feed signal into the device, that light bulb is going to light up depending on how strong the signal coming in is. Stronger signal levels are going to produce more light. Lower signal levels are going to provide a dimmer light. And that triggers the amount of gain reduction applied to your signal. So loud signal comes in, the light bulb lights up pretty strongly. That triggers a strong compression on your signal. And if the signal going in is not that strong, the light bulb is not going to light up as intensely and not so much gain reduction is going to be applied. On your signal. The interesting thing here is the way the light bulb releases the compression, which is very musical and smooth, which is why people really like optical compressions. For the purpose of this video, I've recorded three different samples showing three different playing styles, finger style, pick and slap, and I'm gonna toggle the compressor on and off so you can hear the effect the compression is having on the signal. And we're also gonna go to my computer so you can hear and see how I'm setting up the compressor. So let's check that out. Okay guys, so this is my screen and this is the project with the recordings of fingerstyle, slap, pick and I made a loop as well that we're going to take a look in a bit but let's take a look at the compressor itself. This is the Teletronics LA2A, this is a plugin of course but this compressor is one of the most if not the most famous optical compressors out there. And its origins are actually from broadcast, you know, from radio broadcasting, because they would use this on broadcast signals to avoid blowing up radio towers. And the controls are fairly simple. Let's go from left to right. We've got a switch that switches between compression and limit. So this changes the way the ratio is going to be applied. You cannot pick a certain ratio because it changes depending on the type or the amount of signal that you fit in. But in limit mode, the compressor is going to be a bit stronger. Now you have the emphasis on this particular plugin. I'm not sure if this is on the hardware version of it, but this is kind of like a sidechain filter. So the compressor reacts less to base content. Then you have the gain, which is the makeup gain, and then you have in the middle the gain reduction meter and you have on the right 
the peak reduction, which is the threshold control for the compressor. For the compressor. So this controls when the compressor is going to start working and how much the stimulus is going to be compressed as well. Then you have a power switch, and you can switch how the uh, display is going to show, if it's going to show gain reduction or the output. Um, so it's a fairly simple compressor. It's hard to mess up the sound with this because of how simple it is. But let's take a look at what it does, you know, with a bass uh, track. So I have this here. I'm going to turn it off for a second. I have this recording. Right? Fairly simple bass line. Now, I'm going to turn on the compressor now. You can see I'm compressing about between 2 to 3 dB, which is not much. I'm going to turn it off. But the signal is immediately a lot thicker, more even, it's warmer. You can hear how the compressor works in this section especially. These higher notes. I'm gonna turn it on. A lot more even. Without. Only with that, you can hear a clear difference. You know, it sounds much more even, warmer, fuller. It's compressing about 3, 4 dB. I'm gonna turn it off. hear here that what it does is that it evens the loud popping note with the thumb it just makes everything a bit more even fuller and you don't have those loud spikes going out Here as well, I'm compressing about 3 dB at the most. And without. Now let's take a listen to the pick example. The compressor is off right now. Now turn it on. It just sounds like really warm and it glues the bass line in a very natural and, and smooth way. Um, and I can tell you that playing through it, so when I have the bass and I play through it with the compressor engaged, it just feels awesome. <laughs> kind of like going through a tube uh, preamp is really, really good. So that was the LA2A optical compressor. And like I mentioned earlier, that one is one of the most famous optical compressors out there because it sounds good on many different sources but if you're looking for a you know a compressor in a pedal format that's also an op that applies optical compression you can check out the diamond compressor that the yellow one then there's one by ampeg as well 
uh, one by BBE Audio and also by Oco. I think the, it's called the Coca Comp. And those are great if you're looking for compressors that are, are easy to dial in and apply a very musical sounding style of compression to your bass signal. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Mm-hmm.